Alright guys, so not one of my normal videos, but I figured I'd post it just to help anybody else out. Um, yeah, my neighbor gave me an old uh, lawnmower, uh, so I figured I'd get it going. So I've already done, rebuilt the carbs. It wouldn't start as the symptoms, just wouldn't start at all. So I rebuilt the carb, um, took the flywheel off, and um, fixed the kill switch, and also put in a uh, new coil because I wasn't getting any spark. So there's lots of stuff out on the internet on how to do all that and it's super easy. Uh, but as after I rebuilt the carb, the pull cord broke and then um, in the process of taking that apart there's nothing on really on the internet about how to do the this is a vertical pull. All the videos on the internet are for the you know, the horizontal pull, this is an older, like, built in 88. I don't know even know if Briggs & Stratton makes this anymore. So I figured I'd just make a video on on this. So after I fixed the pull cord, then the recoil spring broke. Um, part of the reason the recoil spring broke is I think I reassembled it wrong. Because um, of the way the spring was bent originally, I assumed incorrectly on how to put it back together because I couldn't find anything. Well, anyway, now I've got a Briggs & Stratton spring assembly and I can see how it's supposed to go so you see it you know coils up and it's supposed to hook into this hub when you put it on there but this one was actually wrapped around the other way and I assumed because it was had been bent previously that's the way it goes in so I've got the instructions from Briggs & Stratton and I'll just make a little vid on how to put it all back together help somebody else out in case uh, they find it handy so I've already taken this off, uh, this assembly off, and um, I've taken the fuel tank off, and uh, we'll just go through it. All right, so the first step they have you do is remove the fuel tank, and then you remove this starter assembly. It's a left-hand thread, so you're going to screw it clockwise to remove it, and then you remove the assembly. Then they have you pull the rope out as far as it'll go, and uh, remove the rope from the pulley. So the rope, you know, feeds through there, and you just pull it out through here. So I'm not going to show that, but I'll do it. All right, so the starter assembly is removed, and what we're going to do is uh, use some needle nose pliers and just pull this whole assembly out. So I'll do that. There you go. And it's just going to pop out when I let go. But that's the old one, so who cares? All right. All right, now we're going to put the new one in. And uh, so what they have you do is lock this in. And you just untape this and pop it in there. So I'm not going to show it on the camera, but it's pretty strong. All right, so the spring comes with this steel wrapper around it. It's actually kind of nice. I thought it was just plastic. And you just take this guy, pop that in there, hopefully make camera, and they have you just pop it in. Hopefully I can do it without screwing it up. Er. And there it is in there. I'm just going to let it relax a little. Now it's in the in the thing. Uh, just put this on the hub right like that. All right. So one of the things that's been confusing me, which isn't in the instructions, uh, is you're supposed to remove this bolt, and then this whole assembly slides out. So I'm going to pull that out. Okay, so that's not in the instructions, and that's what's been confusing the shit out of me. Uh, this assembly comes off, and then you assemble the whole thing together and wrap the, the cord while you're doing that. So the order of operations is this goes here, metal washer goes towards the pulley, plastic washer under that goes on the inside, and then this 
goes inside with this cam in between those two little armatures. With the cam and the shaft removed and this set screw which locks into that hole right there. This is a special set screw with a little tip on it. So now we'll uh, put the cord through and wind So you put a dab of grease in the center and then we're going to put this on top of that, it's a left hand uh, thread, and so we're going to uh, tighten it up finger tight. Okay, so uh, the center screw is finger tight, and then we turn the cover clockwise until the spring engages in the folded piece of metal on the, on the other side of that slot. So the, that slot has metal folded over to the right, and it's engaging with the, with the spring. Then what they have you do is turn this cover until this top arrow is in line with that brake spring. Then tighten this center screw down. They say 55 inch pounds. I'm just going to make it really tight. Then they say put the uh, center decal on it. This is the decal, but mine's dirty and it fell off. So if you see that duct that metal tape around my dryer duct, I'm going to use some of that and cut it to fit. And I assume it's to protect water and dirt from getting inside that, that return spring. And note that's 55 inch pounds, not fit pounds. Okay, so the directions say to hold the starter cover and turn the gear and pulley clockwise until the spring is tight. I think that's actually wrong in the instructions right there. Let's see it until the spring is tight. You actually want to turn the the cover, the metal part, clockwise and or the gear counterclockwise, and I'm going to feed that uh, rope through this hole right there. I don't know if you can see it right there. So now feed the rope through the hole. Okay, so I've got the rope fed through this hole, and I'm just slowly, or not slowly, <laughs> don't let go like I did, uh, letting that unwrap. So I'll pull this extra out. Sorry about that and uh, then assemble it to the, uh, to the lawnmower. All right, well, I got it wound back to the right way. And um, yeah, so it's seated on. Next, I'm gonna mount this onto there with this pip, that little recess aligned with that screw. And then I'll put the mounting screw on there. Okay, so I mounted that screw in. And what I did was I kind of wiggled this back and forth until I felt the, the kind of key on the end of that screw slide into the, the cutout on the center shaft. So now it's in there pretty tight and I'm just holding this on. And now I'm going to just reassemble the fuel tank. I'm going to try and figure out how to keep this rope, uh, I don't know, gradually let the thing unwind and wrap the rope up and then, you know, feed it up through this. So the rest is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, and then I just got to reassemble, you know, all the linkages for the uh, carb, as well as the, uh, you know, all this other stuff. So that's about it. So the starter is hopefully working, and we'll test it out later. All right, so there it is all assembled. I tied a knot right at the point where, you know, the rope had reached the top of the pulley without catching on that metal. And it's all put back together, and I'll uh, give it a test here once I reassemble the throttle cable and all the other stuff. All right.